Hey y'all, it's Nisha here and welcome to today's video. We're gonna be trying out a brand new product. I'm really excited about this product. We're gonna be trying out the Color Wow Dream Coat for curly hair. Now I know this has gone viral and excuse the marks, my hands are very messy from my leave-in, but I know the version of this for straight hair has gone viral all over TikTok, Instagram, everywhere because basically it makes your hair supposedly like waterproof. And although I just came from a straight style, I didn't try that one out, but I do want to try this one out for curly hair. It says it creates the perfect frizz free curls. So we're going to test this out and see if I get frizz free curls or as least frizz as possible. I did see Curly Chris, Crystal here on YouTube try this out and I was intrigued. I never heard about it until I saw her video. And so I was like, okay, I wanna give this a try and see how it does on my hair. Similar to what she did, I am going to apply it to half of my hair. Use this on one side and won't use it on the other. And just compare how each side does throughout the week. Do I see less frizz? Do I see more frizz? Does it look the same? So we're gonna test it out. But first, before we get into this video, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that notification bell. I post new videos twice a week. So if you're subscribed, you done hit that notification bell, then you won't miss another upload from me. So let's just go ahead and get into this Color Wow Dream Coat for curly hair. All right, y'all, so I have already gone in with my leave-in. I actually did go ahead and apply the Adjo Beauty Melon Berry Hair Milk. Did a review on this as well, so if you wanna know my thoughts about this, how it performs on my hair and all that good stuff, go ahead and click the link in the cards and it'll take you straight to that video. So now that I've gone ahead and applied my leave-in, now I'm going to add the color wow. Now, as far as the directions on the actual bottle, it's basically saying like, this is the only product that I need on my hair and um, we're not doing that, okay? Um, we're not doing that. Okay. This is directions for like white girl curly hair, but black girl curly hair needs other products. We need some leave-in, we need some creams, we need some gels. I need other products. So I'm gonna add this on top of my leave-in and then I'm gonna go in with my cream. I'm using the Strawberry Styling Smoothie as my styler because it definitely says, which I'll get more into the details of the directions in just a second. It says it replaces sticky gel, slimy serum, serums, and heavy creams. I want all of that. Maybe not a sticky gel, but I want serums. I want heavy creams on my hair. That's just me. But anyways, my hands are so slippery, so hopefully I spray this in the right area. Okay. Just comes out like a spray leave-in. Okay, obviously <laughs> we've already picked a side. I didn't even really think about which side I was gonna do it on, but obviously we picked a side, which is my left side, your right. So this is the side that's going to be using the product. And then this side is going to be product free, not product free, but it's gonna be Color Wow Dream Coat for curly hair free. I think I need to section off this hair first so let's do that i want to really saturate my hair really coat it really well kind of just rub it in want to get it on the ends as well i hope that this mixes well with all of the products that i'll be using crossing my fingers but i mean it doesn't seem to be doing anything crazy right now so that's good
I'm done applying the Color Wow to this left side of my hair and I didn't notice any like additional moisture or anything really weird applying this on top of a leave-in. It did cause my leave-in to like foam up just a little bit. I was very generous with this, definitely sprayed tons of sprays on my hair and I felt like it was easier to just spray it in my hand and then apply. But I mean, so far so good. It seems like it's mixing pretty well with the leave-in that I've already applied. So I'm gonna go in and start styling my hair. I'll show y'all what the final results look like. And then we're going to test this baby and see if it does what it claims. All right, so when I was actually applying the Color Wild to my hair is when I was supposed to get into the claims of this product. But I had to leave y'all with the ASMR moment because I just could not talk over it. So here we go talking about the actual claims of the Color Wild, even though I've already applied it to my hair. But it says this weightless moisturizing spray does all the combined work of outdated overweight curl formulas. This light spray replaces sticky gels, slimy serums, heavy creams. Just spray and air dry for perfectly bundled frizz-free curls. So much better than natural, they're super natural. The directions say after shampooing or wetting hair, remove excess moisture. Comb if desired. Spray hair liberally section by section until soaked, making sure to spray underneath sections. Air dry or blow dry using a diffuser. Y'all know basically I kind of did what I wanted to do as far as applying and, you know, using other products with it and also sitting under the dryer. So those are the directions, but like I said, I did whatever I wanted to do. Also, as far as the, as the ingredients go, this is not a clean product at all. So most of the stuff I can't pronounce, but I did see some dimethicone. So there is a silicone in here. There's some glycerin and there's some hydrolyzed keratin. All right, y'all, so I am done styling my hair. Again, I use the Color Wow here on this left side, and I didn't use it on this right side. Also, ever since I did my little viral hair claw, hair clamp video or whatever, if you haven't checked that out, I'll go ahead and link it up in the cards. Ever since I've done that video and you, know, you slick down the front of your hair, I wanted to know like what does that look like on me? with like a braid out or a twist out or even a wash and go like behind it. So instead of like clipping up the back, just leaving it down, I might have left out too much hair, but it's okay, it's whatever. This is what my hair is looking like now. It does say to either air dry or blow dry using a diffuser. Obviously I'm not doing like a wash and go or anything like that. So I'm not going to air dry. I do have somewhere to be early in the morning, so I need this to be dry like now. So I'm gonna sit under the dryer for like an hour and really get this dry and then just hope that it dries the rest of the night as I'm sleeping. And then we'll take down, we'll see what our hair looks like. We'll see if I notice any initial difference upon takedown. And then again, we're gonna wear this throughout the week and I'm gonna let y'all know if I notice a difference. But I mean, as far as like twisting up my hair, I didn't really notice a difference in either side, but we'll see when I take it down tomorrow. So I'll see y'all tomorrow. Hey y'all, we're back. I wanted to do the takedown on camera just to see if I noticed any difference as far as if my hair looks less frizzy or more smooth or on one side versus the other, I went ahead and started to take down the back. So we're gonna take down the front together and just assess what everything is looking like. But my curls look really, really good. So I am happy about that.
right, y'all, we are done taking down both sides. And so far, my hair looks bomb on both sides. I'm sorry, I'm like staring in my mirror over here to see if I notice that much of a difference. And I really don't notice too much of a difference. Let me show y'all a close up. So this is the color wow side. Give y'all a little close up. And this is the non color wow side. As far as frizz go, they both look really good. I will say the styler that I use is really good at smoothing down my hair. I also did go in with a brush, which sometimes I don't do. And I know that going in with a brush does help smooth down my hair more. I mean, so far so good. It didn't really interfere with my other products. I don't notice any flaking or anything. So this is day one. I'm actually going to see if I need to separate a little bit more. I'm gonna fluff out my hair as well. I'll come back and show you all the final result. But for right now, I don't see much of a difference. But again, we're gonna see as the days go by if I do see a difference. So let me just go ahead and fluff out my hair and then I'll show you like the final style. Hey y'all, I'm back. Today is actually day five of this braid out and we're going to check and see what the color wow side is looking like and what this side is looking like. If I look crusty y'all, it's early in the morning. I'm about to get ready for work. I look like I'm still asleep, but it is what it is. I don't have my mirror right now. So let's just look using my camera. Ooh. So obviously we have some frizz. We have frizz on both sides. It's day five. It's been rainy outside for the past couple of days and I haven't really done much to protect my hair. I will say that my hair does look good for day five without me retwisting, retouching, refreshing, none of that. I just throw on my bonnet at night and go to sleep and that's it. Um, so my hair still looks good for day five. There's still a lot of definition going on right here and just like frizz up here. I would say that there is slightly, slightly less frizz on this side. Let me get a little bit closer. There's slightly less frizz on this side and then a little bit more frizz on the non color wow side. So again, this side does not have any color wow. Does it make a huge, huge difference? Not really in my opinion, it does make some difference. I do want to actually really revisit this in the spring and summer when it's humid every day. Right now there's been some humidity because of the rain. Is it something that you need to just run out and get right away? Um, the verdict is still out. I'm gonna keep trying this and report back to you, especially spring, summer report back to you and let you know. But for right now, I do see a difference. It does do a little something, something, but is it worth? I don't even know how much I pay for this, but I'm pretty sure it's not cheap. Okay, so it's $24 for um, 6.7 fluid ounces, which isn't too, too bad. It's not the most affordable thing, but it's not the most expensive thing either. We're gonna keep our eyes peeled and keep testing this out and just letting y'all know. But first impressions, it did do a little something, something. I think the real MVP of this whole video is my strawberry styling smoothie from Nature's Little Secret because my hair is bomb. It's still bomb on day five, <laughs> period. But that's it for this review, y'all. Have y'all gotten your hands on the Color Wow Dream Coat for curly hair? Have you tried it out? Have you even heard it? You might not have even heard about it, but I hope that y'all enjoyed this review and my honest thoughts about this Color Wow Dream Coat for curly hair. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. This will be linked down below as well. It will be a, an affiliate link. So if you do decide to purchase this and purchase through my link, I appreciate you so much. And as always, I'm so grateful and thankful for each and every one of y'all watching and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.